Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to use multiple command to repeat any command and dimension in a specific layer in AutoCAD. If you are new to my channel, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all new videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to get all kinds of updates. So, let's get started. So, here I will show you how to use multiple command. You can, this command is also known as repeat command because we use this to repeat any command. So, first uh, suppose I will, I uh, am taking one rectangle. Now, if I want to repeat, I want to create same rect rectangle again. So, what I need to do basically we can press enter or we can give rectangle command like give rectangle command here or give shortcut key R E C and draw rectangle or simply press right click and repeat rectangle or press the space bar if you will press the space bar also you can draw so these are the basic methods you can give command you can give shortcut command you can uh, Press the space bar or repeat or like right click and repeat. These are the basic commands. Now, if I don't want to press the space bar continuously, I, I want to repeat the same command. Any command like rectangle, maybe circle, any command I, I want to use. So, how can I use? So, for that, you need to give multiple command. Type multiple, press enter. Now it's asking enter command name to repeat. Here you have to specify the command name, which command you want to repeat. Suppose I want to give a rectangle, so REC shortcut key. Now here I will draw one rectangle. Still I'm inside this command. I'm not coming out of command. I again I can draw. See you can see this. I am in the command. You can draw as many as rectangles you want now escape now i will delete this so again i will give multiple command suppose one circle now after the circle is created i came out from the command now i will show you give multiple command multiple press enter now we need to repeat circle give circle command name I have specified now I will create now you can create numbers of circles you require you can see here I can create many circles I require so this is the repeat command or multiple command give multiple specify the command name now i will dimension dt enter now here i will write a text now multiple give multiple here give dt command name dt now i need to write make ortho on suppose this still i am in text command you can see I can write as many as line uh, com, uh, text. I can create as many as you can copy. But if I want to create many comma many text, then you can create with this multiple command. You can repeat the same command by using multiple command. So hope you understand how to use multiple command to repeat the same command. Now, so go to layer command. Here I need to create a new layer. So here, suppose dimension. Here I will show you how to use uh, dimension in a specific layer. So I will change the color, blue color. Now close it. So what I need to do? Now it is in zero layer. So, uh, create a rectangle, 
this is a rectangle now i need to offset this 10 inch inside this distance dimension we need to mark so change the layer to dimension layer now i will check this is 8 feet 7 inch okay so what i did i have changed the dimension layer from zero layer to i, I have changed this then i mark the dimension so when i give the circle now i don't need to change repeatedly like my dimension every time i need to change the layer to dimension layer then only i can change so how can we do without changing the dimension layer okay it should it should be dimension will be the in will be in the layer but i don't need to change here repeatedly okay so it will be easy when we are working in another layer and we have to give specify dimension repeatedly so repeatedly if we have to uh, change the dimension it will be difficult so for fast work you have to use this command so what we need to do for this give dimension dim now here you can see one layer option is coming so click on layer option now it's asking enter layer name or select object or specific layer okay so you have to enter layer name so in which layer you you want your dimension so we have dimension layer La layer name is dimension now press enter now now we will take now it is in zero layer you can see now I check my dimension see the dimension is coming in dimension layer now the current layer is another layer current layer is different layer when you don't need to make the dimension into current layer to mark the dimension into a specific layer now you can ma mark it in a specific layer dimension layer but current layer is zero layer here i will show you this is the plan here here you can see the dimension layer this is dimension layer if i need to make the dimension i need to make the dimension layer current layer then i can specify the dimension okay change to by layer now i don't need this dimension layer to be current layer i don't want to make dimension layer to current layer because i am working in another layer so it will be difficult so what i'll do dim enter on a layer click on layer you can type layer also or click on layer now dimension layer name is dimension here the layer name dimension you can see now press enter okay now i'll change the current layer you can change the current layer delete this dimensions and uh, this dimension change the current layer now the current wall layer is current layer now i'll specify the dimension here you can see i have marked this this is coming under dimension layer I hope you understand so every time when i need to specify the dimension in a specific layer no need to change the current layer this is the use of dimension in a specific layer so you can use this dimension command for fast working so that you can work very fast you can see it's coming i have changed the color of the dimension and it's coming in proper layer so hope you like this video and if you find this video helpful